Hello Arsenal fans and friends, welcome to the channel, subscribe below so you don't miss any news from Arsenal. Don't forget to leave a like. Brazilian journalist Neto criticized Tite for his decision to include Arsenal striker Gabriel Martinelli in the 26-man squad for the 2022 World Cup. Martinelli has been in fine form for the Gunners so far this season, scoring five goals and providing two assists in 18 games. Mikel Arteta's team are currently at the top of the Premier League table with 34 points from 13 games. However, Neto was not happy to see Martinelli being selected for the team ahead of Flamengo striker Gabigol. He told ESPN Brazil, via Sport Witness. That's a shame, a joke. I feel ashamed. Not because of Danny Alves' story. What is Martinelli's story? 33 career goals. This is a shame, a lack of respect for football. It shows how dirty football is, it's dishonorable. It's happened to me and you, Veloso, because we didn't go to the World Cup because we didn't play in Rio de Janeiro. Gabigol scored 29 goals and provided 5 assists in 62 games for Flamengo this season. Neto said Tite's decision to call up the Arsenal striker ahead of Gabigol is a shame. He added, doing that with football shows you don't deserve the position you're in. Summoning Martinelli and not summoning Gabigol is heresy, a lack of respect. The biggest shame of all the summons. Summoning Martinelli shows that you, Tite, shouldn't occupy the position you occupy because it's not fair to Gabigol. Neto continued his speech, saying, the guy who scores five goals in the season, who walks around the mall here, nobody knows who he is. And without taking Gabigol, the guy who scored the Libertadores goal, who scored 29 goals in season. Neto's comments might seem a bit of a stretch considering Martinelli has been one of the Gunners' best players this season. Arsenal's Gabriel Martinelli could face stiff competition to feature in Brazil's starting 11 for the 2022 FIFA World Cup despite being in the 26-man squad. Players like Vinicius Jr. and Neymar are almost guaranteed starters in Tite's team. Antony and Richarlison are also on the team and are potentially at the front of the queue to start with the Celicao. So, Arsenal fans, what did you think of journalist Anito's statements? Even a little unfair don't you think? Comment your opinion below.